Where are you? You there? Looking over there? Hello! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, uh, an old friend of mine, Wayne, um, he's been drawing some of his favourite TV show characters. They're basically my favourites as well. <laughs> we did grow up together, what can you expect? Um, very pleasingly, he's been, I think he's been inspired to do, do this uh, because of these videos. So that's good. That's good, I like that. Um, lovely fellow, Wayne. Um, well, yeah, and he was drawing. They've been putting him on his Instagram account and he'd been drawing Bodie and Doyle from the professionals. Um which are one of the best theme tunes in television, especially in the genre of the television, like cop show. They're not really cops, Buddy and Doyle. They work for CI5, which is uh, kind of like MI5, but not. Um, oh, it's right, I think. That's bad timing, isn't it? Right, I need to put my ink in. So I'm using my platinum carbon ink. Can you see that? Focus, focus, focus. I'm meant to do all this fancy focus stuff. Anyway, where's the autofocus? I don't know. Rubbish, camera, rubbish. Right, so let's put this ink in. Now, I'm going to tip this. This has got a little well inside, so you tip it upside down and then back to fill that well. Okay, there's the ink. I take this converter cartridge out and I basically I'm unscrewing this till it won't go anywhere. That's now I've drawn like plunger all the way which way have i done it the wrong way actually no that's right so you do it so that the plunger is all the way at the bottom put that in there and then you draw the plunger back up and it fills with ink just like that and then put that back in there we go. This is a Lamy. Um, is it a Safari? I'm not sure if it's Safari or not, but it's a Lamy pen. Uh, you can get the converters on their website as well. They're good. So I should have ink very soon. Come on. There we go. Right, so uh, where were we? Yeah, professionals, great thing tune. Da da da, ba na ba na da na 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 da na ba na na da. Yeah, superb. So Wayne was struggling to get body right, so I thought, well, I'll have a go. See how I do. Um, I actually got a request for a commission. Um last week and I said well I do have some rules and one of the rules I put was actual likeness not guaranteed <laughs> um, more so with my painting because uh, I just throw the paint on and see what happens I can get um, a more consistent likeness now when I'm drawing um, and I'm going to see if I can get this one. It's all about little anchor points. So you're kind of drawing and going and it's often little dots I'm leaving around. So there's a bit here, a bit of shadow there that takes you up to shadow there. Then that shadow brings you around there. So that's his nose. And I could go down there and start the mouth, but I'm going to move on up here. I think it's going to be better to have these two pens on the go. This is a finer nib, this, this gold pen. And I'm going to turn it upside down so 
using the back of the nib which is even finer and it's just you know there's a little dot here so then that eyebrow section starts there See that's wrong because the dot is down here. So, but that's okay. I, that will probably no. <laughs> it's wrong already. This see, you're right, Wayne. It's not easy. This um, tipex. Get some tipex. You're allowed to make mistakes and you're allowed to correct them. Okay, it's a bit watery this, so I've got to let that dry. Let's move down to the mouth while I'm waiting. So, some shadow like that. There's an area of light, and then, and then. I think Wayne was saying that the mouth was. Am I right? I think you're struggling with the mouth. Um, can be difficult sometimes. There are always certain parts of the face that you struggle with. The corner of the mouth should roughly be in line with the the pupil. Really, I've gone a bit too far right, but not too, not that far right. Uh, I'm kind of I'm nice, easy to say it but I'm drawing what I see um, the, the problem is we don't look enough when we draw him and we often see I stopped looking then when I was doing this we often um, draw what we think is there but if you just pause to actually take a look you'll get it right eventually it does take practice and when sketches were pretty good um, so it doesn't um, just needs to draw a body a lot of times <laughs> you'll get it you'll get it Put some music on when you're drawing, stick the like classic TV themes on. Start with um the professionals. Am I right in thinking professionals was written by Dick Clement and Neil Frenne, who wrote Porridge and Boys from the Black Stuff and all that? Or am I totally wrong there? Seems weird if they did. I think there's another guy though, isn't there another writer who wrote The Avengers? That's not that music. Sure they didn't write The Avengers, did they? And I'm thinking, did did the guy who wrote The Avengers write the professionals? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Da -da -da. Brian Clemens. Brian Clemens. He's the guy behind The Avengers. So yeah, I am getting them mixed up. Nothing to do with porridge and off weed sand pit and all that. Oh, that's still very sticky, that. Ugh, ugh, don't like that. What can I do to sort this out? That's really sticky. <laughs> really messing this up. Oh my God. What a disaster. Can I still draw on that? Mm, I can. I'm going to keep going. Keep it rolling.
see right now this eye looks off but this cock up with the tipex has thrown me I was doing them um, did I mention this last week doing a painting and our boiler broke and uh, I was fretting all the time that I was doing this painting about this bloody boiler and um, painting was terrible well, I wasn't in the zone at all it's interesting I don't never really noticed how it things like that can affect you but they do the boiler's fine okay so I've got bored so far. I don't feel like his face is a bit too narrow. Uh, so I get a feeling that when I finish this, it's not going to look like him. But you got to keep going and see what happens. Chin, strong chin. His, his chin, I feel, is something that you should get right if you want it to look like him. I still feel like I'm losing this one. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I've made, I said I'd made his mouth too wide, and I had done, and it's meant that they should be able to the face should be able to come in a little bit more here but I couldn't now because this mouth pushing it out interesting that isn't it I, getting one thing wrong has a knock on effect and that's why I was talking about getting your anchor points because conversely if you get one thing right it helps another thing be right so yeah this uh you can see if there's a hint of him there certainly a hint of him but it's not it's not quite there what I'm doing now with this hair is I'm kind of looking at the photo that I'm working from and imagining that imagining that my pen is actually on the photo and I'm just drawing round it round the outline of his hair it's called contour drawing it's almost blind contour drawing which is when you do this but you you're not looking at the paper at all. I'm glancing up and down between the reference photo and the paper all the time. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not very successful, this. So, let's do his chunky, chunky sweater. Uh, like that and then 
the hair. Um, there's a lot of shade, a lot of light and shade in this hair. I'm just going to do it black. I think on this. Sometimes if you rub with the side of your brush pen, you get some bits where the ink's not flowing. That can be the light and shade. And then we do need some shading on the hair. Hatching. Try not to do cross hatching. Um, it makes it everything look very flat. And try and do your hatching lines to be kind of giving some idea of the direction of the like planes of the face. It's not easy, it's not easy. Um I'm still learning it how to get that looking right. Because you're often going, well, which is the important direction? Is this vertical to show that the, the, the neck's going upwards? Or do I have to do it round this horizontal way to show the curve of the neck? I think ultimately it's up to you. The wool. Now, I could... Try and do every like rib in this wool. Um, it's just going to take away from the the portrait. I think it's best to just have that abstract. If I was adding colour, maybe digitally, this would just be a really pale cream colour, and then just brown. Maybe all around. He's actually wearing a jacket, so there's a. In fact, yeah, you'd do the. You'd do that. Brown, pale cream. So I wouldn't bother with any wool detail. That's just it's too much work. Um, work. Lewis Collins was from Merseyside. He's from Birkenhead. Um, is Birkenhead Merseyside or is it Birkenhead? Don't know. Now. I couldn't believe he he died eleven years ago. It was a bit of a shocker. Died in Los Angeles. In hospital, I believe. Oh, he was certainly ill. Anyway. Um, so, more of that going on. One thing this hatching is helping with is it is making him look a little bit more like Lewis Collins than, than it was initially. But it's still not Lewis Collins. I <laughs> oh, see. I don't think it is, really. I uh, think I'm done. Yeah, when you were right. Lewis Collins is hard to do. I believe Neil Sedaka wrote a song like that. Um, <laughs> I'll see you next week. I might try again. Bye.